Welcome to Life Words Day by Day, where we are studying an interesting phrase in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. And I think it can help us answer this question. If it's true that Christ unifies us, why then is there so much division within the church and even within the idea of the role and the function of the Holy Spirit? Well, like I said, I think 1 Corinthians 12, 13 helps us understand and even answer the question. It says, that text says, we were all made to drink of one spirit. So at conversion, all believers receive all of the Holy Spirit. But I want to compare what's written here to what Paul says in chapter 10. There he writes, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink. So think about this. They had the leadership of God, and they had a means of perpetual sustenance and satisfaction. And now, in the new covenant, we've been made to have the Spirit in us to sustain us and satisfy us. Later on in chapter 10 and verse 16, Paul writes this. He says, The cup of blessing that we bless... Is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we are all partakers of one bread. So Paul is referencing communion or what we call the Lord's Supper. And he's saying that since we partake together in this Lord's Supper, then we are one. But listen. It's not just the physical act of participation in the Lord's Supper that unites us. The symbol is not the reality, it's the symbol. So what does it symbolize? It symbolizes that Jesus is our life, our continual satisfaction. And I believe this is what Paul is referencing again in chapter 12, verse 13, when Paul says that Christians have been made to drink of one spirit. He has in mind an irrigation system that saturates a field. Paul uses that in chapter 3 whenever he says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. We've been made to be irrigated by the Spirit, completely saturated over and over again as much as needed. And the reason division in the church exists is because we tend to attempt to sustain and satisfy ourselves with ourselves instead of with the Spirit. Listen, we were not redeemed and washed by the renewal of regeneration so that we may drink down glass after glass of our own wants and desires. As Christians, we were made to be satisfied, to be filled up, to overflow with the Spirit of Christ. When you pray today, please remember Rigoberto Jimenez and his family, our Changemaker missionaries in El Salvador. And also remember the Romani Calderash LifeWord broadcast that's heard in Romania.